Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, you saw me doing my ICP test. And in this video, we're going to go through the results. I posted it off on the 21st and got it back the very next day on the 22nd, which is absolutely awesome if you've got a problem with your reef tank and you need to sort it straight away. Here you can see my alkalinity is a little bit low, but I'll explain why that's come down in a minute. You can see here my pH is 8.2, so that's pretty good. And this is low because of my alkalinity. And my salinity is bang on 35, which is absolutely awesome because that's what I tested on my last salinity test. And that means all the other elements are correct to the salinity at 35. You can see here my nitrate isn't as bad as I thought it was. I was testing 25. And on here it's 15, so that's much better than I thought. So that's come down a bit. But my um, my phosphates are still very high, especially the organic phosphate that you saw there. And the total phosphate is 0.11, which is actually pretty good. I thought it was a lot higher than that. This is what it looks like on the PC. It's a little bit more clearer like this. You can see the scale on the right hand side. You can see my alkalinity is a little bit low at 6.6. .6. The salinity is bang on 35, but the desired level on here is 34, but I prefer 35, so that's why it's shown a little bit higher. These are the macro elements, so the main elements on here. You can see my calcium is also a little low, which is absolutely brilliant because that means that um, my corals are growing and it's taking up all my two part and they're both dropping at the same time. So all I need to do is up my two-part dosing. My fluoride is a little low. You can see next to it on the right-hand side, there's a little dosing button, which will tell me how much to dose. But I am dosing that, but obviously not enough. My magnesium is a little high. That's 1435, which is a little bit higher than I would like. But I don't think my aquarium takes up that mag much magnesium. So... If I up my two part, I'm also going to be dosing more magnesium as well. My potassium is a bit high, so I'll stop dosing that for a couple of weeks and let that come down. But everything else on here is not too bad. The strontium is a little bit high, but not too much. So I'll also just reduce the dosage of that one as well. Okay, now we're on to the trace elements. You can see here most of my trace elements are quite low um, other than iodine. Iodine is very high so I'll completely stop dosing that just for a few weeks until that starts coming down. But I'm dosing all the other trace elements and all of these are showing undetectable so they're all really low. So basically I'm probably just going to end up doubling what I'm dosing at the moment and put that in there. There is a dose button on the right hand side and that does tell you what to dose, and I'll go through that a bit in a minute. Okay, moving on to the nutrient side of things. I was actually quite happy with my results. These are a lot lower than I thought they'd be. My nitrate's sitting at 15. Um, I was testing 25, but that's come down a little. My phosphate is sitting at 0 0.11, which is also pretty good. That's pretty much where I'd like them. I don't need to reduce them any more than this. The only thing that is quite high and in the red you can see my organic phosphate, so that's going to need a bit of work reducing that. Moving on to the pollutants, look at this all green, all undetectable, which is absolutely awesome. Considering this is a brand new tank, there could have been all sorts of stuff left behind when making this aquarium. The only one that's a little high or has any reading at all is the aluminium but that would have come off the bile balls, the marine pure balls. On the day that I sent off my ICP test, I also tested with my own test kits. You can see here the comparison between my test kits and the ICP results. You can see the salinity is bang on 35. The alkalinity is only slightly a little bit lower. My calcium reading was 390 on my test and that came back at 385 so that was only five off the magnesium is okay and my nitrate was um, only 10 higher than what i got in my scp test but that is quite hard to judge with the colors on the salivate test kits so all in all the tests that i did 
aren't too far off my ICP test, so I'm happy carrying on using the Salafit test kits as um, they are quite consistent in their testing. So now I'm going to do some more of my two part to bring it back up as my alkalinity and calcium were low. So I need to obviously up my dosage on the two part. I'm just checking the lines now to make sure there was no blockages, which there wasn't. So now I'm just going to up my dosage. I'm going to dose 180 mils now and then I'll test it in a few days and hopefully it'll start coming back up. But it's um, good news that I'm having to up my dosage because that means the corals are growing and I haven't had to up my dosage um, since I brought this new tank. So um, yeah, hopefully that's it. The SPS are kicking off and going to start really growing now. Back to my ICP results. If I hit the dosage button here, it will tell me exactly what I need to dose. So those top bits are alkalinity. So we've already dosed those. But the first one on here is fluoride. And if you tick here, it tells you what you have to dose per day. So it's 50 per day and it's over five days. So over five days, I have to dose 250 mils of fluoride. I think that's quite high. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to probably half it or more than half it. I'm just going to do 20 mils and see where that goes. The next one on here is barium and that's telling me to dose 14 mils per day. And on the bottom, it tells you how many days you have to dose it for as well. It's basically a calendar that shows you how much to dose. And this is to bring up back up to the levels that it should be in the middle of the green. So this isn't your sort of daily dose that you need to do. This is just to bring it back up. The next trace element that I dose is iron. And on here, my daily dose to bring it back up is 0 0.03, which is very small. So if you click it all the way through to seven, basically that's your seven day, so that's your week dosage. And that's telling me it's 0 0.21. And I dose at the moment 0 0.25. And that is undetectable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double that. And hopefully next time I have a reading. Manganese is the same. Manganese is very important for the goniporas. So I dose at the moment one mil a week and it's still showing it's undetectable. So I'm going to dose um, two mil a week now. So double that dose. And then next time I do an ICP test, I will see where that is. I do like this dosing calendar. On the left hand side, it's got the element and what the corals use. Um, what the elements for and why the corals need it and on the bottom it's got your daily dose and also your total dose i'm just scrolling through the rest of my trace elements but i'm basically just going to double my dose on most things and just see where that is on my next icp but yeah it's very good reefs elements okay to summarize i'm pretty happy with my results on the icp test Basically, all I need to do is up my two-part dosing of, for alkalinity, calcium, and that will also bring up all the other trace elements as well. Also, my nutrients have come down quite a bit, so they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. So overall, yeah, more than happy with my ICP. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe, as it goes a long way to help me to make new videos like this one. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.